Hello everybody, I'd like to take some time to introduce you to my car, Noel. This is a 2017 Jeep Wrangler uh, Winter Edition in obviously white, which is kind of why her name's Noel. Yes, it is a girl. Okay, so quick backstory. Um, since my car is white, I didn't want to name it a typical name for a white car like Coco or um, Snow. So I looked up names like that deal with the winter and winter time, and I like the name Noel. So that's what my Jeep's name is. So. <laughs> So I'm going to show you a quick overview of the exterior of the car. So as you can see in the front where the grill is, it's some black trim as well as some designs on the top of the hood. Um, I'll get a little bit closer as you can see. Um, this is the winter edition um, design that came with the car. And uh, the car also came with black accessories I guess or accents um, all around it so the tires the grill the little Jeep symbol in the front that's all black as well as you can't really see but there are some um, I don't even know what you call them screws knobs but you can see them by the door those are also black um, so I thought that was a really cool feature that it was a white car with black trim or black accent so um, that really sold me on it it has a slight tint but um, nothing too crazy but I'm glad it at least came with something as you can see the gas cap is black as well so I like the fact that it um, had the black accents um, being an all-white car um, I like the pop that the black gives the um, exterior as you can see on the other side of the car there is the same decal that you saw on the front it's also on the back right side of the car so just a quick overview of the um, front seats in the Jeep they are half leather half quilted um, I did not get to choose what kind of seats I wanted because this is what the package came with but Personally to me, I don't mind having the quilted seats, especially here in Las Vegas. As you can see, the side panel is stretchy material rather than the typical plastic. And then the unlock lock button is on the door as well. Uh -huh. Alright, so I wanted to give you a quick point of view from the driver's perspective. Um, as you can see, there are buttons located on the steering wheel that allows you to quickly change um, your settings depending on if it's the radio or the voice recognition. On the back left hand side, it changes the radio stations or the song. And then on the right hand side, it changes the volume. As you can see here on the left, there are different buttons you can press to change the settings um, that are located on the back display screen. Uh, there's a menu button, navigation, voice recognition, telephone, and then the other two buttons are just to change the settings uh, within the menu or the navigation portion. So just to show a few of the display items, you have miles per gallon. Um, you have how many gallons of gas you have until you go empty, which is a cool feature. Um, you have the tire pressure. You have a timer. Not exactly sure what that's for, but it's still going because I never reset it. 
you also have some vehicle info and I'm just flipping through some of the information you can find here so you can see like the coolant temperature the oil life um, the oil pressure and a few other settings so that's another cool feature the units can be changed um, depending on the metrics that you use you can also change the language by going to the personal settings um, and just choosing whatever language that you speak and then here you can see um, which direction that you're going as well as the temperature outside and it is hot here in Las Vegas Nevada so then on the right side of the steering wheel you see that the uh, cruise control settings are located over here Alright, so I just wanted to give a quick overview of uh, the radio system that's set up in the Jeep. It does come with navigation. Um, on the left you can see this media button. If you press that, it allows your phone to go into Bluetooth mode and it allows you to uh, just stream music straight from your phone. Um, if you press this button in the top right that says load, it shows the CD player slash DVD player. Um, I thought it opened really cool, so uh, I just wanted to show that. So you can, you know, park your car and watch a DVD in it if you want to. Okay, so over here to the right, um, you have the menu button. Um, that allows you to change the settings of the display screen. You can press the audio button. It allows you to control the balance, the fade, how much bass you like, and different settings like that for the radio. Then you come down a little bit and you can see um, it's two uh, air conditioned vents that are manual. Like you can just turn them, flip them any way that you want to. And there's also one on the left side and the right side of the driver's seat and the passenger side door um, and you can see here that the window controls are located in the center rather than on the door because the doors are made to be removable so you really don't want um, your window controls located directly on the door that you can take off so then we move a little bit further down you can see it's all your normal controls um, that's to control the side view mirrors, heated seats um, are in this Jeep. I think it came along with it because it's the winter edition. Um, and then a few of your other normal controls. This right here uh, activates the outlet located in the car. Um, as you can see, it's underneath the center console is a three plug outlet. Is that what you call it? I'm not exactly sure but it's like your normal wall outlet and yes it does work and uh, in order to turn it on you do have to press the button so these are just your normal um, car climate controls nothing too special about it and then also on the other side the passenger seat does have heated seats as well so then you move a little bit further down and you can see the four wheel drive handle, the normal um, automatic handle and then I have a charger here um, with just like a regular charger hooked up into the center um, glove compartment. Also located in the center council are my emergency travel bag. Okay, so um, I wanted to do a quick video on like a car emergency kit. So um, some stuff you should just keep in your car. Um, this will mostly apply to girls, obviously, because I'm a girl. So we got some of these. Summer's Eve uh, coconut water cleansing cloths for your uh, private area. <laughs> we 
We got some uh, hair ties. I got this like Hello Kitty toothbrush kit. It has toothbrush, toothpaste, and um, two, you can't see them. They're behind the, um, oh, there they go, behind the um, toothpaste. There's two floss, flossers. So I'm just gonna take this out of the package and put it inside of um, something, one of these bags. We got some drama mean because I do get motion sick and mostly out here is when I've been getting the most motion sick. I got some some car air fresheners. That's not for the emergency kit. That's just for my car. Some Advil. Um, tight to go. Quick note. Um, I was gonna get the single tight to go pen, and it was three dollars. And then I went over to like the laundry section, and they had three for six dollars. So. So don't fall for their tricks over in the travel section. Wet ones, just some hand wipes. A nail file kit. I know that's probably kind of odd, but there's been so many times where I've like chipped my nail, broken my nail, or like um, it's just been split at the ends, and I have not had any clippers or filers so I definitely need this um, some degree deodorant and let's see what else do I have in here some lotion and then the other two things I didn't get was eyelash glue and um, chapstick so I couldn't find any of the chapstick that I like to use so, um, or the eyelash glue that I like to use, Target didn't have any, so I'm gonna go back and get those two things, but um, I'll pack all this stuff up in these bags and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so basically this is one of my old makeup bags from when I used to get Ipsy. Um, this one's kind of larger than the other ones that I used to get. So, um, as you can see, I put the deodorant. This is a toothbrush, the drum, one drama me packet because it comes with three, I believe. Um, hand sanitizer, lotion, the Advil, the toothpaste, and that's it so far. And then I'm going to throw these in here like that. And then this can just go in on its own, or I have this other bag here where I can put this. I can probably fit these wet ones in there, um, the tie to go pin, and we'll do a few of the hair ties, some of the cleansing cloths, and I'll grab some tampons and pads out my room and put it in this bag, and it should be good to go. So, quick emergency car care kit. Okay. <laughs> Okay, located on the passenger side door is a small trash can um, that I got off of Amazon. It was fairly cheap and it just clips into the stretchy material that I showed earlier in the video. Located in the glove compartment, I do have my Jeep manual as well as some extra handles for the top of the Jeep to get in easier. I have them set up at the um, front passenger and driver side but I don't have them set up in the back you can see the insulated liner at the top of the car um, I know not all Jeeps come with it so um, that was an added bonus and I really enjoy that rather than just the plain white so the back seat in the Wrangler Unlimited um, has speakers in it and you can see that the insulated liner at the top again as well um the back seats have a lot more space than what i thought they were going to have um which is a bonus and yeah i actually got in the back tested it out it's pretty comfortable and it comes with the cup holders and two controls for the windows now for one of the best parts about a jeep is the trunk space so this um, trunk has 
tons and tons of space which is awesome because we have two dogs so the more space the better um, another cool feature that came with the winter edition is the all-weather speaker that is located in the trunk so you can just play music and you can hear it a lot better because um, it will play through this speaker in the back I am so blessed to have been able to purchase my dream car at 24 years old um, as an early birthday present for my 25th birthday. Uh, I thank you all for tuning in and for some of you for waiting on this video and I hope you stay tuned and subscribe. Thanks. Uh -huh.